Hey everybody, it's your old pal Mike here, just checking in. I hope that you're happy, healthy, and safe. Uh, it's, it's a wonderfully hot Southern California day today. It's the perfect weather to be stuck indoors. Uh, so, yay, pandemic. I wanted to take a moment to check in and say thank you so much for the feedback. It helps immensely because, as I said in my previous video, I'm still learning. So, you talking to me, you telling me what you're looking for, that helps so much. And it makes me happy to know that you all care, too. So, thank you. I also wanted to take a moment to address some of the most common uh, bits of feedback that I was given. Number one, I know that the jump cuts are annoying. And don't worry, that's just a function of my inexperience. I'm, I'll get better at it. They'll phase out eventually, or if I have to have jump cuts, I'll make them work much like many other YouTubers that I frequent. Yeah, that's something I'll get better at. Don't worry, I'm aware. The second thing I'd like to address is sound. Uh, I had a number of people specifically on Instagram asking me for a clean tone, and I get that. I appreciate that. That makes a lot of sense. It's something I could probably work in. Uh, I have a couple of other thoughts on the subject. Number one, I, I don't play clean. Uh, clean sounds have n almost never appealed to me. It's not the way that I approach the guitar. I I'm, I'm a loud rock and roll kind of guy. I like big, loud amps, and I like overdrive and fuzz and chaos and noise and melody and syrupy sounds. So I'm trying to figure out how to how to do that in a way that's comfortable for me because I'm I'm actually really sensitive to the sound of an amp, the sound of a guitar. And if it's wrong, it, it trips me up a lot. Uh, also, because of the way I play guitar, a lot of pedal demos, a lot of amp demos, they just simply don't work for me. They don't tell me anything about how a piece of gear is going to work for me. So, yeah, what do I do about that? Do I do I go for the, the pure sound, the, the mass appeal, or like most things that I've ended up doing over the years, do I stay sort of specific and... Uh, what, what's the word that I forgot? Specific. Um, oh, fuck. What's it called when you have limited appeal? What's that word? I have to look. I have to look at it. I have to look it up. Different. Distinct. Exact. Explicit. Oh, my God. I forgot the word specialized. Or do I, as, as I have done in the past, make peace with being specialized? You see, most of the content that I've created over the years, whether it's you know, the magazine articles I've written or the, the stuff I put on Instagram. It's been for a very specific audience. It's people who, like me, use Jazz Masters, Jaguars, loud, dark amps, fuzz pedals, all of that. So I have seen a lot of value personally in being specific and, and liking a certain kind of thing. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want to explore my boundaries or, or push against my preconceived notions. But it does limit me, and so I need to do some more thinking on that subject. Maybe that's the wrong way to approach this. I don't know, but I'll keep thinking about it, and we'll see what I come up with. Now, as for the visual element, I want you to know that I've uh, just recently sunk a little bit of money into my very first big boy camera, so I can't wait for things to look better. Uh, lighting is going to be more consistent. I got some lighting. I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm even going to work on getting a better microphone for my purposes. Not that the AKG P220 is bad. It's fantastic, actually. It's been great. But it is borrowed, it is not mine, and it is uh, not unidirectional. So it's it's picking up everything. And I want I want to be able to get that, that crystal clear, beautiful, rich sound that my audience deserves. Stay tuned. Now, as for the future, I've got a few things in the works that I think you're really going to like. Uh, number one, I would love to take you on a tour through my pedal collection. I've got so many interesting, weird, and wild little stomp boxes that I think deserve to be shouted out. Uh, some of them are companies that I've known for years. Some of them are brand new. Some of them are, are friends that I've, you know, I just really would love to get some more business. So I'd love to tell you more about them, and I, I think you're really going to like that. I'd also love to take you on a tour through my guitar collection because I've got some stuff that I'm really excited about. Guitars that have absolutely enriched my life as a player and as a musician and have enabled me to make some music that I'm really proud of. I'm thinking of my 61 Jazzmaster Pancake. I'm thinking of the 63 Jag that I modified that you might remember from the Weezer video. I'm thinking of the Creston Electric Baritone that is just phenomenal in every way. 
So yeah, I'd like to talk about some pedals, some guitars, even some amps like the 79 JMP behind me or the satellite Hellion on the floor over there that has utterly changed my life. I'm even planning to do some guitar tech specific guides, setups for jazz masters and jaguars, mustangs too, videos about some of my most essential tools because I think a lot of people could really use some of them, you know, nut files, radius gauges, etc., etc. I'd also like to address some, you know, common misconceptions about guitar upkeep. All in all, I think there's a lot to look forward to and I cannot wait to show you what I come up with next. So please stay tuned and I'll see you all next time. Take care.